Hello and welcome to Small Gold's update on the Kazakh, the Central Bank of Kazakhstan's gold reserves for the month ended April 2017. Just a quick housekeeping note, Kazakhstan releases its reserve position at the end of every month for the prior month. So at the end of May, they release the reserve position at the end of April. That's why we're a month behind when we're in June. We don't get May's at the, at the beginning of June. We get April's at the end of May. So Kazakhstan has boosted its gold reserves to 37% of overall reserves. National Bank of Kazakhstan added another 3.11 tons or 100,000 ounces of gold to her reserves in April. Total reserves for the National Bank of Kazakhstan are now 270.9 or approximately 271 tons of gold. That's over 8.71 million ounces. In 2016, the National Bank of Kazakhstan added 36 tons of gold or over 1.163 million ounces of gold. Kazakhstan's gold reserves now rank 21st in the world of central banks. Quite remarkable for a country with relatively low GDP and a small population. But they did add 100,000 ounces of gold to reserves in April. Now, I mention this all the time when people talk about central banks adding gold. It's not really true. The only banks that added gold really in any significant amounts in 2016 were the Central Bank of Russia, the People's Bank of China, and Kazakhstan. Now, the People's Bank of China in the last six months hasn't added any gold. So Kazakhstan is technically, according to official numbers, the second, the country that's adding the second most amount of gold to her reserves behind Russia. Here you can see a chart showing the steady increase in gold reserves for Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is a gold producer. Makes sense for them to convert their local currency uh, into gold. It supports the local economy and it also gives them gold at a lower price and they can ride the price higher and increase the value of their foreign reserves. Here's your pitch to donate to small gold via PayPal or Bitcoin. Now, the Central Bank or the National Bank of Kazakhstan's foreign reserves are only about 30 billion at the end of April. Remember, that is less than half of the Fed's QE in a given QE3 in a given month. So Kazakhstan doesn't have a very large reserve position, but nor should they. They're a small country, small in terms of economic power. And but they've been building them steadily, and so they're close to 30 billion in uh, foreign reserves. And their gold that they hold as part of those reserves is over 11 billion. So that brings them to over 37% of overall reserves. So Kazakhstan is clearly choosing to hold its nation's wealth increasingly in gold. Russia's, the Central Bank of Russia only holds 18% of its reserves. It has over 400 billion though. So it's much more than 10 times the size of uh, Kazakhstan, but it has 18% of its reserves in gold. And the People's Bank of China only has about 2% of its over $3 trillion in reserves in gold. Here is where Kazakhstan now stands after adding that uh, 35, 40 tons of gold last year. They've leaped up here. You can see they're number 21 in central bank gold holding. Here's where they got to catch. They got to catch Austria in the top 11 to 20 then Spain, Lebanon. They should catch Austria sometime at the end of the summer if they continue to add about three tons a month. Then soon after they will pass Spain and Lebanon. And then <laughs> for the ultimate uh, insult to the United Kingdom, eventually if England does not add any gold to her reserves, which there's been no indication that the Bank of England plans to do so, Kazakhstan will have more gold in her reserves than the Bank of England. All right, so they're only nine tons behind Austria at the end of April, as we mentioned, by uh, May, June, July. But in the end of July, they should be at the same level, and they should crack that top 20. That link out you're looking at, you can always see that at the homepage of Small Gold, Gold Reserves by Country. It's updated often. It's only updated, really, to add China, Russia, and Kazakhstan, but if there are any other changes, they do make them. But you go to the front page, you click Gold Reserves by Country. By the way, if you're interested in adding to your own gold reserves, you can do so through the small gold site below. 
There's links for you to compare pricing and shipping. Smoggle gets a small commission, but you pay no more, no less if you visit those sites directly. So you might as well take a look, not investment advice, but if you are going to buy gold, check out the different uh, the different bullion dealers, SD Bullion, BGSC, Golden Eagle Coins, Money Metals Exchanges, and compare pricing and shipping. Make your purchase and help out small gold that way. Of course, you can always donate via PayPal or Bitcoin. Now, also, just want to let you know they're still available at $20, the Small Gold 2017 Silver Report. It's a 33-page report. It contains many facts, figures, charts that you probably haven't seen, and analysis. And also, it comes with a video series, which goes through in greater detail what's in the report. You, there's already been two videos produced. You'll get those. You'll get all the videos as they're produced in the series, and you'll get a chance to answer, ask questions about the silver market and anything you see in the report or anything you don't see in the report. So please check that out. And also remember to subscribe to Small Gold and to subscribe to this channel and to follow us on Twitter. Thank you.